Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, guys. Um, uh, in the science PDF, we hypothesize that we should expect um a lot of um earthquakes and landslides, which we have been since that PDF was uploaded. We've seen uh <coughs> the number of earthquakes and landslides rise exponentially. Um. Uh, anyway, uh, this particular vlog is dedicated to the uh possible at least it seems like it's on the horizon the possible eventual eventuality of the three great landslides referred to by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh may peace and blessings be upon him um uh, uh, and um <coughs> we're seeing the birth pangs of that but those birth pangs seem to be increasing more and more and more so from small sinkholes to larger sinkholes from um 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 uh, frequent um, earthquakes to um, extremely um, uh, frequent earthquakes and the magnitude is increasing as well uh, as we're moving forward and then now what we're seeing is these um, these cracks in the earth's uh, crust and the the liquefaction of land <coughs> again we talked about in the PDF uh, uh, Cascadia rising and how I felt, felt that that uh, military drill was very suspect. It's um, basically Cascadia Rising. This is FEMA Gov, so it's an official coffin um, website. And on that, in June uh, 2016, uh, they did a military drill for a 9 point uh, no magnitude earthquake alongside the Cascadia subduction zone uh, <clears throat> and the resulting tsunamis, which we've already hypothesized in the PDF, as well as the, um, I guess, what you've got here is a complex disaster scenario that emergency uh, management and public safety officials in the public uh, northwest could face and um, uh, this is uh, it goes on to the um, uh, earthquakes as well as the uh, liquefaction of land I'll leave a link to this it is in this science document again the science document is, uh, a link to the science document is also on the about us section of the channel anyway um, going back to um, what we saw in New Zealand. Now, this is the recent earthquakes that we had over there. I think New Zealand experienced around 300 earthquakes when the earthquake started within a very short period of time, if not a couple of days at best. And what resulted uh, following that uh, is what you can see here, which is very, very disconcerting. <clears throat> okay, you can see the cracks in the land. And these are the sort of um, landslides. I mean, that's that's pretty phenomenal what you're seeing there. Although, in the scheme of things, um, pretty substantial, yet in the face of what the Prophet ﷺ has prophesied, Prophet Muhammad has prophesied, we're going to see three great landslides in the west, in the east, and the Arabian Peninsula. Um, I think we're seeing the birth pangs. I'm pretty sure, in fact, that we are seeing the birth pangs of that. And at best, uh, uh, we're going to see these three great landslides occur very, very soon. I said very soon, I don't want to be the harbinger of um, uh, 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 bad news, but I don't see this um, um, occurring in any time less than within. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best again. But um, it's it, it, as soon as this system leaves, basically, uh, and it's out in its trajectory, we should uh, see the, the impact of that. What's more important uh, is the, the discovery today, and this is what brought me to this because I felt like there's uh, a reasonable amount of content for me to put a vlog together on this particular subject matter, is um, The Guardian uh, did an article on the Wednesday, the 7th of December, and that's about British uh, Antarctic research station to be moved due to the deep crack in the ice. Now, um, in the mainstream media, they don't want to draw your attention to these sort of anomalies and these sort of happenings uh, globally so what they'll do is they'll discuss maybe perhaps moving um, uh, the research lab right from Antarctica but not necessarily uh, discuss and explore uh, the crack in detail at any rate I'm going to leave a link to this but I'm going to take you to the crack now itself in Antarctica and how huge it is it's really really worrying okay so we, we've just discussed the crack in New Zealand now look at this uh, ice cracks in Antarctica have been over 100 kilometers, right? And there's an image of that crack, subhanAllah, okay? Now that's that's quite a huge crack. 
So something is certainly um, uh, affecting the earth globally, and we're seeing that on a micro level and on a macro level. And it seems like it's increasing perpetually um, uh, as we're moving forward and as the system is getting closer and closer and its celestial bodies are wreaking havoc uh, with their magnetic and gravitational influence on the earth itself, subhanAllah. Now, this is what bothers me and worries me that our ulama ikiram, our beloved ulama ikiram, really need to get to speed with this and catch up with this. It really genuinely, I mean, the evidence, like I said, it's showing no sign of abating and it's mounting up. Uh, exponentially uh, yet it seems like we're still suffering that um, um, symptom uh, it's, a, it's a psychological one where we again it's cognitive dissonance where we would rather not get out of our comfort zone and maybe possibly explore and entertain the reality of this being a real possibility and then the measures that are necessary for the Ummah uh, in order to ensure that we at least reduce the um, the, at least we do what we have to, whatever is written and decreed will happen, but at least uh, uh, we won't be sat on our laurels, uh, taking a very cavalier attitude towards uh, what's happening uh, and just sit on the, uh, the fence uh, whilst we watch um, uh, Rome burn as it were. So I mean we really have a responsibility to humanity and we need to create that awareness and uh, I don't think time's on our side. And um, you can see that, but here's the evidence and the links are there. Please corroborate it and see for yourselves. These are all matters that really concern them and have only just started happening in 2016 at the rate that they're happening. Uh, and again, it supports and augments the hypothesis that there are celestial bodies within our solar system that don't belong there, have entered and merged and are influencing all the planetary bodies within our solar system as well as our sun and us, uh, as well as our moon. So anyway, I'm going to leave these um, uh, links here. I'm going to upload this and archive it uh, and the links to the articles. Again, Jazakallah khairan wa asana jazakallah for your time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.